this casserole here and I am here. I have a um, thrift haul for you. <sighs> I have been cleaning my house all week, every day um, for over a week actually. Um, and I'm almost done. I'm not totally done yet. And I'm exhausted <laughs> mentally and physically because it's been a lot of work, but it has definitely been worth it. Um, so I have a haul for you guys. Um, stuff I have here was all $8.99. <gasps> Fabulous deals on these. Um, so I saw this, I snatched it. I'm not totally sure what the stone is, but I knew when I saw this that it was J. King. Hello. Um, it is signed DTR, DTR China 925, which is Desert Rose Trading. It is uh, J. King. Bring you guys down a little bit more. Um, and it's just, this is so fabulous. So this is all sterling. It is marked on the inside here. Um, his stuff a lot of times isn't signed on the back. It's often signed inside. So I don't know, eight ninety nine. This was so fabulous. So I think it's probably onyx and something else. I just I don't know what this stone is. He uses all J King uses all kinds of different stones that I've never heard of. So um, his stuff is always quite interesting. But this was a fabulous deal with the sterling silver pendant as well so that was $8.99 this one this is super long hi Mike how are you this one um I believe is also DTR925 China it's interesting because this one a lot of times they have the really long chain this one does not it just has the one but it is lapis lazuli and blue lace agate and this is a really really long strand and isn't really beautiful like look at all this lapis and you can see lapis has pyrite in it which is fool's gold also known as fool's gold and the blue lace agate just has the most beautiful banding in it like this it just shows shows the colors and it's this one is is a fabulous combination between the two and that was a steal for 8.99 for this This, I actually, I think I already have this. This is definitely um, going to be listed or auctioned for, for sale. This is Tiger's Eye. It is blue, red, and um, brown Tiger's Eye. Like, look at how cool. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I, I love those too. The um, singles. Helps with not having as much stuff to clean up and organize and throw away. Like, look at, look at the faceting and the banding on this. It's just absolutely fabulous. Like this red and the blue. Ah, oh. so it's really nice quality tiger's eye faceted and. Um, one of my favorite additions to any of these is something at the end. So whenever I make my own necklaces, I like to put something like that in the back. 
and then eight so that was $8.99 this is was $8.99 it has a sterling silver clasp this is also faceted I like how there's the pink and the black here and then goes into the other color and it's it's asymmetrical with the faceted onyx I believe it's onyx black can be what is it onyx or obsidian it's usually one or the other and the pink and black I think pink and black are as nice of a combination as black and white um this kind of is inspiring me to want to do an outfit in pink and black like this color pink and black or it's like I think that would be absolutely fabulous. This is a really long necklace as well. $8.99 also a steal for this. I just absolutely love that. I think that was a great deal. This was also $8.99. I could tell that it was a real pearl. And again, probably the same thing. And I think this is a real turquoise as well. It's hard to tell in these little ones, but there is some matrix on there. It could also be dyed, um, dyed highlight. It's hard to tell, but they're not all the same. And either way, it's nice. And I was trying to look for, oh, there it is. I was trying to look for um, inside where I could see if it was marked because it looked like it was sterling to me and it looks like there is a mark right in here. Or it's 925. So I'm pretty sure this is, oh look, and there is a thing, it says something here too. I did not see that. 925. And then CS. SOM. SQMS. Something like that. Do you see SOMS? 925. So that's fabulous. I couldn't tell for sure, but because I couldn't, it was hard to see that in the store. But it was just like, this looks really nice. And I am going to get it because I thought this was a fabulous co color combination too with the black, white, um, turquoise. I think an outfit with these colors would also be killer. So even if you wore this with a black t-shirt and jeans, I think that would be nice too, or a white t-shirt and jeans. I think that would be a fabulous addition to that too. So I'm gonna have to look up that designer because I've never, oops, heard of that before. I have all this stuff over here. I keep dropping, like all of, all of my single earrings are over here that I don't know quite know what to do with yet. Uh-oh, what did Mike say that he had to retract? <laughs> All right. And then this I almost got before. It was also $8.99. Um, this I'll be listing. I think this is probably obsidian. I see the line there. Or Let me see. It's really dark. This is all smoky quartz. This might be obsidian. And it's Mark 925 and ATI China. So I won't be, this one I for sure won't be keeping. Um, I have a lot. Do you see the little line there? I have a lot of this. Yeah, I think so. I think it was probably the same person. This was $6.99. And I actually had already gotten earrings like this. So um, hopefully they're in with this haul too. 
and I don't actually see a marking on here. I did find this online, and I think originally it's like two something. Um, and that one had a marking on the inside, but this one does not. But it's definitely, if you guys can tell, it is Black Hills Gold, and this is oxidized. Yeah, sometimes it seems like there's something there, but I just, I kind of knew what it was from looking at it, right? Like you can see this, that is that Black Hills gold design and it's rose gold and like a green gold. Um, so I did find it online. So that is not a cheap piece. Yeah, that person was me. I got this. I thought this was fabulous. This one was only $2.99. And I think this is like chrome. It, it's heavy duty. This is so cool. It is a bracelet. And it looks like a nut. And I just, I thought that would be really neat to layer with some other pieces. I love the shape of it color of it is sleek and it's just it's really I think this is just really unique so it does look like a giant nut just like me giant nut I also got these I did not need these. I don't know why I got these. I went in the store. There was this lady. She's really nice. I think I paid like $30 for all of these. Something like that. Um, now, though this, I don't think this is a reproduction. Mike, you're in here. You're good at this. I did, did not test this. I don't know if it's sterling or not. But it does have... The um, bar clasp and the C clasp here, which makes me think that this is not a reproduction. That it might actually be real Art Nouveau. Because you see these all the time, but usually they're reproductions. I think this is silver plated. I don't think it's silver because you can see some of the brass there. But I do think it's, I do think it's older. I don't think this is one of the reproductions. Oh, Medusa, you think? Oh. Yeah, I thought this was lovely. I like it the way that it is. Um, like not polished or anything like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is original? I think it is. It's because like I said, I saw that and I saw this and it does look aged. I don't think that takes away. I kind of think that adds to it, to the look. And it's a decent size too. You guys can tell for my hand for scale. Um, it is not super heavy or super light it's a if that makes sense so it feels like it is some to it if, if that makes sense some of these the repros are kind of really light so but this is hollow as you can tell so I don't know I got that. I got these to craft with. This is 14 karat gold plated. And this it has the great seal of the state of New York. Yeah, I agree, Mike. It's it's hard um to know exactly without touching something sometimes too. Like it feels older to me, but um, I don't come across a ton of them that I know for sure are actually not the repros. So I thought this would be really cool to use to do, um, some of my longer necklaces that I have the 
the things for. Um, same with this. Now this is beautiful. I think this is older. And I think this might be um, crystal or rock crystal. I'm not totally sure. It is drilled inside of it. So I thought this was a really pretty one once it gets um, cleaned up to put in. You guys know how I make some of my necklaces. And I think this will be a beautiful addition to one. Um, this, let's see if I can get this one out. This I just got for myself. Um, it's a box clasp. It is sign nine two five, so it's old over sterling, and it's it's kind of longer. Nice, shiny, high-quality box chain that's gold over silver. So, again, I, I get a lot of pendants, and I, I like to have something like that. And this one is a signer, C-I-N-E-R. You guys can see right there. It's marked. And it's not missing any of the ballatinis, as Miss Sally likes to say. She loves her ballatinis. And these are all faux coral. And yeah, it wasn't missing any. This one looks like it's trying to escape, but some of them may have been re glued, but. You can see glue marks in there, but it's nice. And it still has the safety clasp and all the ballatinis and the little clasp as well. So it has some wear, but it's, it's not bad. So that I will most likely be selling. And that goes pairs really well with this. I'd never heard of this brand before. There's not much online. It could be Rhodonite. It does seem kind of like that. So I love the color of this. I just thought it was... I like when I see things that are a little bit um, unique and a designer I've never heard of before, I often get it so I can take it home and do some research. So I haven't had the chance to do a lot of research on this one yet, but... Um, let me. I love this shape too. It is it is super funky. This is like a sixties, fifties, sixties. I I I think sixties. I don't know. Necklace and this is the chain. It's at the end. Moselle. M O S E L L. It is kind of crazy, right? And yeah, I, that was what I liked about it. I kind of like the super funky, weird grooviness of it. See, I often, if, if there's old glue, I, I often just take my nail and get that old glue off and it'll, it'll come right off. Because sometimes it leaks and it'll yellow and stuff but it's usually pretty easy to get off. But I, I just thought this was fabulous. Um, and I think I got something from my husband too. I got him some cat thing. I don't remember. Y'all know my husband's a crazy cat lady. I'm just getting out some more stuff that I had. Oh, here it is. I think it's kind of funny.
These are the earrings. They were $5. I wish I had the necklace or a nice necklace to go with it, but I suppose you could kind of wear anything. So this was $5 and these are, bring you in a little closer. These are the earrings that go with the bracelet. And they're considered green and rose gold. Aren't they neat? I absolutely love these. And they are 14 karat. And then the other stuff is Hi, Miss Tanya. Um, a oxida oxidized over steel or something like that. But I think this is a little bit more upgraded, modern version of the Black Hills Gold. So I just thought that was really neat. This was $2.99. I haven't tested this yet, and I did not see... These are not gold, but I am pretty certain that this is gold. I don't see anything, but definitely looks like that tri, tri gold. And I think these just aren't the original earring bags. At the very least, these are usually gold over sterling, but I think they're most likely tri-gold. So for $3, that was kind of a no-brainer, right? <laughs> and then this one was $1.99, which is funny because the savers is crazy. They're so expensive. But if you look, you can find stuff. So this, um, I saw that it was marked 925. And then it's marked something else, but it's really hard to read. You guys can see it's marked 925 there and then something else there. So it's like a sand dollar. Sterling silver bracelet. And then these, I don't discount these. This was $1.99. Sometimes if you look for these, they do have 18 karat or 14 karat charms on these. And I know Miss Anitra said she was collecting some of them. I think sometimes these are gold. And I have other ones too. I kind of think that it would be nice to put one together. I love Lily Pulitzer. That's that's a new found obsession. And then this one's the G and this one has a Swarovski crystal on it. And a little coffee. I love coffee. I've been starting to drink it black. But it's funny because I know some of these don't actually say. See, this one says 18 karat gold and stainless steel. This one. So some of them do and some of them don't. Let's say that they're gold, but I'm pretty sure that they are like this one's peridot. So I like to have one and just put them together with all the like gold charms. I think that would be nice. I do quite like the coffee too. Like I said, some of these, even these charms can be um, gold. Cause I have one that says I love mom or something like that. And it's like 18 karat gold. So. I do look at those. And also this guy. So they charge a lot for, if they know it's gold or silver, they charge a lot for it. 
Um, but every once in a while I will find something. So this was $2.99. I knew what this was because I have sold these before. It's a little bent. But these are uh, sterling silver and they're marked on this side. which is unusual. So there's Silpata 925, India. So I had a hard time and I was like looking everywhere and I was like, oh, I think that's what these are. I'm pretty sure I've sold these before. Um, and I know the style. These will polish up really nice. Um, and so yeah, they obviously didn't know that these were two ninety nine Silpata earrings or <laughs> two ninety nine nine two five. They knew that they were two ninety nine. They priced them. Another eight ninety nine. Maybe part of the same collection. I don't know. This has the normal Native American clasp on it. That's often what they look like. And the Hishi beads. And then the nice green and blue turquoise. So nice, old, older style turquoise necklace the different variations of turquoise. So whenever I see these, I pick them up, pick them up for $8.99 for show. These ones were $6.99. And I don't know. Ah, here it is. So only one of these normally has the uh, tag on it. <laughs> uh, I'm a 90s kid, I guess. Um, and it's Silpata. I quite like this one. Yeah, sure. The Native American clasp. Um, very often, this is the clasp that I find it's not marked or anything like that. It looks like this because a lot of people are hand making them, you know, and this is very often what I see for them. Not always, but very often. I hate when they have the little stoppers on these earrings because sometimes they're so hard to get off if they're not meant to be on a pair of earrings. Can you guys hear my husband? He's playing video games downstairs. I know my friend Treasured Vintage, Miss Angie, loves the designer for these. These are Edgar Burberry. And he's known a lot of times his stuff is uh, like cats and pigs and things like that. These kind of whimsical 80s earrings. That's what his mark looks like. But I really love these. These are, <laughs> well, I can just hear him laughing and yelling down there. I love these colors. I think these will be so nice with a pair of jeans. Uh, because that collar is just so nice and they're not super heavy either so I just I thought those were fabulous I do quite like Edgar Burberry um and it was Miss Angie was the one who told me about him more $8.99 that seemed to be the magic price and these are so pata saw that. I have this actually, so this is definitely going to be 
listed or sold, auctioned, whatever. Um, this is rose quartz and uh, hematite and pearl on string with also sterling silver findings as well. Um, hello, Belgian hippie Heidi. And like, it's a nice long strand. It's really pretty. Uh, it's a good deal. I got another one. Guess what price? $8.99. I had a lot of necklaces. This one I think is also, yeah, Desert Rose Trading DTR. So this is also J. King. I know, right? Miss Miss Angie, she's got the most beautiful scenery around where she lives in Pennsylvania. So this is beautiful. It is like a woven turquoise necklace. Um, this one I will be auctioning or listing as well. It's gorgeous. I love how it's braided. These were $4.99. I kind of couldn't believe it. I could not leave it behind. And sorry, I do take the tags off before because a girl's got to have a secret, right? Everyone's got to have a secret. So these are sterling silver. They're marked inside here. And they're that A. So I don't know who the A is. Hello, mis gustos resale. Um... Thailand, I know that's a designer, but it, it does say 925. There's no marcasites missing. And a lot of times the older marcasites are a lot nicer than the new marcasites, but these ones shine. Like if you guys can see them. They they are just really, really nice. This was $2. Um, whenever I find something that's got a sterling silver clasp for $2, I grab it because you can't even find sterling silver clasp for that kind of price. Um, and I think some of the findings are as well. But just a nice little necklace with sterling silver clasp and $8.99 for this one. I did not test this, but I feel like it is. I feel like this is probably... Sterling. It says my thoughts create my reality and it's got a K. It might not be too, but I just also thought that it was really neat. Hello, Randy. And then it's got the little heart here that says I am with this. I don't know what this is. It feels like charcoal or something. I don't know. And then it's got this magnetic clasp here. Oh, probably because this, this might have been added later. It's just a really fun piece, I think. I think somebody made it. And I quite like it. If you guys know who that designer is, let me know. Because I think it's just really cool. And I like the way they did this. It's kind of like a little similar to how I did my necklaces. Like this where I put, you know, this one on it. And yeah, I could probably, I like this idea of where, you know, you can also, if they're long enough, put them together like that, you know. Some of them actually would be long enough. That one isn't, but um, I think that's really cool. I also went to a shop with my 
girlfriend. I don't exactly... The only thing is, sometimes when you go to consignment shops, they take the prices off, so I always forget how much I pay for things. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Did not mean to smack ya. Um, I think this was put together. I don't think, because this one says M-A-N-A-S-925. And I love these beads. They're just really cool art glass beads. And these huge, I believe they're also 925. So I, th I think this was like $40 for both of them or something like that. But I just thought this was very unique. And it has the necklace to go with it as well. I definitely think somebody made this. But the beads are so cool. Yeah, the puffy heart makes it on this one, I think. And the tubes and it's just... It's really, I thought, you very unique. Not something that I see all the time. So I loved it. And then I think this one is Pandora. I think maybe somebody put it in cleaner, but I think it's still lovely. Like, I think the matte look is still fine. They might not have, though, because there's still tarnish in here. It might just have been the way that it looks. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, I think so, too, Mike. And then this one, which... It is marked Sterling, and it's got a really interesting mark on the back here. SCD with this weird symbol and a 1. And it's marked Sterling over here. So I thought that was pretty funky. It's decently heavy. How cool is that? Yeah, different, right? Hello, Miss Catherine. I know you love all the all the um, natural stones I've been getting. Another eight ninety nine. Can you? Yes. <laughs> this is funny because they didn't put it in the tag well. But this one was marked 925 on the clasp here. And this one is interesting because it's got tiger's eye in between these really beautiful pearls. Oh, the, um, the bracelet, the wavy bracelet. Yeah, I'll have to do some research. But I've never seen the ones with the tiger's eye like that in between the pearls. And this is a beautiful color of pearls. Yeah, I thought, figured that's what you meant, Mike. Thank you. Isn't it pretty? Because it's like, it's fall, but it's spring, but it's summer. It's kind of like all season, I feel like. It's a, that nice color, it could kind of go either way. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I forgot about these. I paid up for these a little bit. I did have my 20% off coupon. That's a nice thing about savers, to get your 20% off coupon. These were $19.99, so $20, and then I paid the uh had the 20% off coupon. I love their tags because you can just take them off. I have some other ones where it's like they're almost plastic and they're impossible to take off. The color on these is amazing. I love rose gold. It kind of reminds me of my daughter because my daughter also loves ro rose gold, but she will not like these because they're too blingy for her. I love these. And they look really nice on as well. So I did get these ones for myself. I do need to wear them. Because <laughs> I think they're stunning.
these I love they're $4.99. I needed these. I don't know if they are or not. I don't have a um, gem tester. But the gem tester doesn't tell you if they're simulated or not. They'll just tell you if they're glass or uh, stone. These are Heidi Dawes. Heidi Dawes, um, if you do have J. Crew that are the brass or the J. Crew, they're pretty interchangeable with each other um, because of, yeah, it says Heidi Dawes back here because of the tone and the style of them. So I'll wear either one and kind of interchange them. So ah, they're stunning. And there's nothing wrong with them. They're not missing anything. Only a couple more. I also have some <laughs> garbage in this purse that I have. I have this older Junie and Burke that I got from a yard sale a while ago. I'll show you guys that because <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. So it's one of the old pinky ones with the belt buckle. It's in decent condition. What it looks like on the inside. I like Dooney and Burke. I like this color. It's very rosy. I'm curious, do you guys also like purses? I kind of kind of love them. All right, next one, $6.99. And these are Kendra Scott. And this is over a while, by the way. Um, I've collected these for a little while. And like I said, I've been Look at how cool they are. They're like the fiber optics. I did go through some of my shoes too. I had to donate because I was, or throw some away because I have some that I don't even know. <laughs> I bet Mike. How long have you been doing this, Mike? But you know what, you can appreciate qual quality's quality, you know? And like, I know that you're that kind of person who just knows and appreciates quality materials and quality workmanship, no matter what. What size are you? I'm an eight. What? Oh, these ones, the pearls are connected directly where the chains have a jump ring. I was confused on this. This is Selpata. Um, it's a really neat one. And like some of the more higher end are actually handmade and I love anything handmade. $8.99 again. I have to see if this will come off. I don't know if that's like where it kind of looks like toothpaste. <laughs> um, but this is Heidi Dawes too. I think maybe I can get that to look a little bit better. If not, I think it's not the worst thing in the world because it's still beautiful. And look at the clasp on this. The class was in really good condition. So this is a really beautiful Heidi Dawes piece. I figured for $8.99, I couldn't leave it behind. It's so nice. So we'll see. <sighs> I 
<laughs> I bought this. I I gotta test it. I was I don't see that it's signed anywhere. It looks but well, it is signed here, but it just says Germany. Um I gotta test it though. It does look like gold over silver. It smells like it too. I think though, Mike, I think it's easier to go in when you've come from a background of working with your hands because you can kind of tell um, some of that stuff, materials, the feel, um, all of that stuff. So I got to test this. I think it might be, I do have a magnet, but it's not very strong. So I don't know. I do have to test it. It was cheap. $4.99. I think this says NF925. These sparkle. <laughs> Get the acid. It's in my bathroom. <laughs> That's where I keep my, my acid. These are lovely too. They are very, very, very shiny. Always check when you get marcasites um, because they're glued in. Um, marcasites aren't usually prong set or anything. They're usually glued in and they very often fall out. Some people are not bothered by one or two things missing. I don't know why, but I am very bothered by it. Um, because I'm weird. So some people think it is even better, but this one was $10.99. But it'll bug me. It'll bug me to no end. This is amazing. This is DTR. It's J. King. It is three strand faceted. I don't know what these stones are. But they are just so cool. And the colors are very similar. It's just, I like this one. This, this one's so cool. Hello, RJ. Like, it's just, it's fabulous. Well, see, we are the same size. I love it. I think it's so cool. And then these were $6.99. These are marked here, $9.25. I think Italy? That's not their original backs. So these... The vermeil, you can still use a cloth um, to clean them up, a silver cloth, and they will clean up. Sometimes the gold does start to come off because um, it is usually just like electroplated, um, like a vermeil, like a gold wash over it. So be warned, but I mean, what are you going to do? You got to clean it, right? All right. I also got this today. I paid for this because I liked it. So I bought it for myself. Um, it was 40. So I live in New York state. There's a lot of taxes here. So it's like 47 or something like that. I don't know. That seems like too much, but like too much for taxes. But that's what I feel like it was. This is so great. I don't remember the name of the person who makes this. And it is in really good condition. Like, it's a little, a little um, dry here. Made a good weapon, which one? Yeah, that's why I was, I was just going to wear this for the summer. 
Um, it looks really nice here. It, I gotta ask Miss Shops a lot if you're if you are supposed to put like a leather conditioner on these so that it doesn't get worse. But I thought it was in a decent condition, and inside is is really nice. So I have stuff in here. I will show you guys, but. It's made in Hong Kong. The inside's really nice. And it doesn't smell like anything, which is amazing because that's a one, one thing I don't appreciate about vintage purses is sometimes they just smell like a basement or an attic or terrible perfume. So. Nantucket purses, yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, I loved it. Okay, just a couple more pieces. Hopefully, it's almost an hour. Jeesh. Hopefully, you guys are still awake <laughs> and with me. You guys still with me? I feel like I'm facilitating a meeting. That's what I do at work. I just try to make people talk so I'm not talking to myself. This was half price, so it was twenty dollars originally. I paid ten. Is this not fabulous? I think this one does the same. Taiwan. Nope. China. China, France. I can't see all of those things. Oh, it does. It says UK, Tail, France, Taiwan. Something like that. I don't know. It's got a lot. But I thought this was so pretty. I know this one's blingy rhinestones, right? No rhinestones missing. All prong set rhinestones. I love this. So hard to find good um, hair stuff. I don't know. It's just not popular right now. I got this one today. This one was half off of 32. Bear. Um, Aunt Becky's on, so she knows. I like picking up the bear stuff. Uh, her mother was Bear Clan, so reminds me of her. And this is Relios or Carolyn Pollock's brand 925 surrounding it. This is stone which it, I don't normally like this stone but I think on here because it's a bear it makes it look like a bear and this is actually really nice for that so normally I don't like that one that stone also got this one today this was 25 I had to double check and make sure everything was here can you guys guess who this is? It's all set on here. And I thought, oh, this looks so small. Doesn't it look tiny? Like, there's no way this is going to fit or be comfortable. It does fit, I swear. Ah, it fits. I had it on earlier, but I don't know why I'm having trouble today. Ah, there we go. There we go. Like, it fit here better, but it is. RJ is correct. It is Miriam Haskell. So if, this one's actually marked, which is helpful. Um, it's a really cool piece. It did. It did. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, sit down on the wrist joint. Like, here, right? 
There we go. This one is in really good condition. I know sometimes her stuff is like not in good shape, but this one's in really nice condition. Yes, it's not terrible. And I see I got it off too, but very nice. I don't have the smallest wrists on earth, but I also don't have big wrists, so it is somewhere in the middle. I got these for myself too, because I have been into Indian jewelry lately, and Indian being from India, not Indian like my aunt and I are, <laughs> like Native American Indian. But I like those pieces too. But this was 32 and these are more lightweight. I know I got um, some from Miss Tanya. These are Mark 925 and Mark 925 here as well. They're really cool pieces. Also turquoise. It is, it's so beautiful. I just, I love it. Oh, yeah, right? I mean, I work, I work with a lot of people in India, too, which I just think is kind of funny because it's like you're Indian and I'm Indian, but not the same. <laughs> so, yeah, the colors are so different. It's just, it's really cool. I really love these pieces. They'll be really nice in the summer. And the ones I bought from Tanya, I love, but I can only wear them for like half the day, where these ones I'll be wearing be able to wear for the whole day because they're not that bad because <laughs> hers are they're, they're, they're a lot I think this one I paid full price for so I think this was 26 I am rather certain these are sterling silver this one sterling silver I think it's handmade by somebody and I love flowers. And then this is Mark 925 and this is a beautiful snake chain. So I just, this one's very nice, love it. Just a couple more. This one was 24, I paid full price. Really kind of funny. You guys see something wrong with this? Because I do. <laughs> I saw this. And on this chain, which is Sarah Coventry. Now I can take this off. Because it, it is a marriage. does not belong on here. See which one this comes off on. Okay, there we go. This is actually a fabulous Sarah Coventry snake change. Change, <laughs> chain. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it is marked on the inside here. Let's see. You see it? Hard to see, but I'm sure I'm sure this is gold. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, also nice that my cousin's getting married on my birthday. <laughs> Don't say what day that is, but it's funny. So this one was, I'm 99% I'm sure that's gold. And this is most likely a jade, I would think. Um, and then last two, I got these 
there's a jewelry store near me where they have things um, that are 25 or um, sometimes if you get multiples or they'll have 20% off so you get it for like 20. Um, these are also nice and lightweight. And these are marked sterling as all well on the one. Aren't these fabulous? Like for $25. I could not believe that they had these for $25. They're fabulous and they will not get lost in my hair. I love these. So like these and these are super fabulous, aren't they? I got both of these today. I just absolutely love both of those. And the next ones, I got this for $10. I think they were marked somewhere. So we're gonna find that together because I don't, today I couldn't see it, but it was there for a little while and I waited until it went on half price. <laughs> Where did I see the mark? Did you guys ever play this game? It's kind of a fun game. I know it was marked on here somewhere. Or at least I think it was marked on here somewhere. Ah! <laughs> Did not mean to drop it, sorry guys. <laughs> or scream in your ear. I swear these are marked somewhere. But you can also even see where somebody polished it, which here, which is also like normally a sign. See right, like right there. But I think these are, and they're pretty heavy, really cool. <laughs> I swear I saw a mark on here and I do not remember where. I might also just be going crazy. But I'm pretty sure these are sterling silver regardless. See what I mean about the this green part, like that's, that's silver cleaner. So I'll probably put them in water and just a little light toothbrush. Well, if not, I will test them anyway, but I'm pretty sure they are. Let's see, my very unstrung magnet. Well, they're not magnetic, but that doesn't mean much because they're not very strong. That magnet's not very strong. I think these are, and if they are, they're really heavy, and I feel like these are well-made. So I waited until they were half off in $10. But the earrings and the necklace game today, not as many bracelets, but I got some cool bracelets and some sets. So that is what I got last few weeks and today um i want to know what your favorite is because i always love that people always have the most unique favorites and uh i absolutely love hearing that from you guys please like comment share subscribe thank you for joining me tonight on this lovely saturday and uh have a wonderful weekend bye guys